the most important thing for black men and prostate cancer is early detection because I think what happens is there's this, you know, we, we find and you can, it bears out in the literature all the time that black men present at a, a younger age, but with a more advanced stage, a higher PSA, PSA is a, the marker for prostate cancer than white men. And, you know, if you detect the cancer later in the stage, it's often harder to treat and the risk of recurrences and metastases and death and so on are higher. So if we can detect the cancer at a, a more manageable stage earlier on, and again, this is why the active surveillance thing is such an important issue, you know, very early prostate cancer, you don't need to treat, but when it's early enough, like a, an intermediate risk prostate cancer that needs treatment, that's highly curable. So if you can, if we could sort of encourage you know, screening in the populations that are at most risk of dying from prostate cancer, i.e. black men, then you can hopefully decrease that risk of mortality in the in the black population. Uh, and similarly, if you are black, African American, Caribbean American, you also have a on average higher risk of earlier um, and higher risk prostate cancer. Uh, so you may consider starting screening earlier, such at age 45. It's evolving. So we are learning more and more about this every day with tests that are underway. So there are some genomic markers that are essentially tied to your genes uh, that are different depending on what your ethnic background is. So we have identified some of them. We don't yet know all of them, um, but these are continuing to emerge in our data repositories. Um, and so part of it is, uh, is genetics, um, and uh, we will know more about these in the coming years.